Time for a big old nasty scream six update. Hmm, <gasps> Ghostface coffee kind of tastes like blood and metal. Alrighty, let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? what's up killjoy jake here and instead of having friends i have horror movies today we're talking a little bit about scream 6 talking about like kind of some nev campbell rumors but like the biggest thing we're talking about today are set photos and some new videos from courtney cox herself gail weathers in the flesh i kind of made it sound like gail weathers plays courtney cox but no it is in fact the other way around before we get into this big update video though if you guys can like this video and subscribe i would greatly appreciate that so real quickly getting the rumor out of the way because i, I don't know how much truth there is to this but it's something i just wanted to mention in this video there has been a rumor that apparently came from Monster Mania this weekend where I was at and I just want to thank everybody who came up and, and, and visited me and said hello and all that it was so cool meeting a lot of you I even met the Night Watch Zone too if you guys watch his channel you guys made my first horror convention something really special so thank you guys so much but apparently a rumor has come out from Monster Mania somebody there one of the Scream cast members somebody who was inv involved with Scream at some point who was there at this uh at this convention apparently had said something along the lines of someone at the production studio did not want to give the money to Nev Campbell that she was requesting and they actually said that they would cancel the entire next movie if uh, they did end up giving Nev Campbell the money she wanted. This is one of those rumors where like it definitely could be true. Maybe there's someone who like just doesn't like Nev Campbell that's part of the production company or something along those lines. But to me, I feel like the situation is just so much more complicated than that. This is something that is like deeply rooted in this franchise, unfortunately, where Nev Campbell has even said in the past she has been underpaid since the third entry. Even though now the franchise has gone through multiple production companies, it seems like we still have this sexist undertone to some of the people or producers a part of the project. Who that is, though, I don't really know, and I don't really want to be the one pointing the finger, because once again, we don't really have confirmation as to what even was going on behind the scenes, besides what Nev Campbell has told us. If I had to guess who was actually saying this kind of stuff at Monster Mania, I would guess Jamie Kennedy. He's been the one that has been the most vocal about all this. I wouldn't say that this is a negative thing at all. I mean, the guy's totally right about the situation. It totally blows. So what is Scream without Nev Campbell? We'll just have to find out in March of next year, but I'm still excited for Scream 6. Personally, I still think it's going to be something special and cool. Getting into the much more exciting news from this video, though, we got a brand new video from Gail Weathers herself, played by Courtney Cox, see that time I got it right, where she hilariously announces that she has finished her scenes for the upcoming Scream film. And something else that is hilarious about this video is that right after she does that, she goes to look at all of her security cameras around her house, and she's getting stalked by a ghost face. This is very reminiscent of Scream 4, when she's like placing all the cameras around like the stairs barn and all that. It's really given me those kind of vibes. I love it. I hope to see something along those lines where Gail Weathers is utilizing technology again in this new uh, Scream film. I think that would be really cool. We had our ghost faces in the last movie really like up the ante on the technology side. So I want to see that continued in, in this next film somehow. I, I want to know a little more about why Richie and Amber were able to use like all this different type of technology. Maybe there's some kind of explanation for it in this upcoming film. But the reason I even bring that up is because it leads into some theories I have about this brand new set photo here. Now on the surface, it might just be exciting to you to see Samara Weaving and Tony Revolori finally in a set photo together and on, on set with some of our other cast members, including Jasmine Savoy Brown and Mason Gooding here. But there's so much more to this than meets the eye. Samara Weaving's character is wearing a dress that is literally the exact same color as the pantsuit thing that Gail Weathers is wearing in the first film. I don't really know if that's a pantsuit. Fuck, I don't even know if that's a dress. <laughs> you come to this channel for horror news, not like fashion information fight me. But although not the same article of clothing, it is the exact same color. I mean, look, look at this. Side, here's a side-by-side. Side. It is the same color. So could this be a clue as to what Samara Weaving's character is going to be like in this new film? Possibly an up-and-coming reporter, just like how Gail Weathers was in that first Scream. Personally, I think that would be great if they made Samara Weaving's character some sort of, like, up-and-coming reporter that is possibly challenging Gail Weathers. That could be kind of cool to see her go through that struggle. Something that all five of the Scream movies do really well is that your three main characters characters, that's Dewey, Gale, and Sydney, they always go through some kind of life-changing experience or arc throughout these movies that is so different for a slasher film. It's arguably one of the biggest reasons people keep coming back to these films, and now without Dewey and without Sydney, they have a lot more time to focus on Gale's character. So I really
really hope she is a massive part of the plotline of this movie and we can see her go through some the struggles of possibly being replaced by a younger reporter. But this is where it gets interesting because Samara Weaving is heavily theorized to be the killer in Scream 6. I'm kind of on that train myself. I mean, not only has she played a killer in the past, but she has also worked with Radio Silence previously on Ready or Not, which is arguably their biggest film before Scream. Did I say arguably? No, like it actually is. And for her to already be playing an antagonist when she's introduced, yeah, she's a massive red herring right from the get-go. Now, I think they have two opportunities with her character here. One, yeah, you could just make her a killer. Like, totally blatantly obvious the entire time. So much so to the point where maybe the audience is like, okay, no, that's way too obvious. It can't be her. And then, oh my god, it is her. Just like how they did with, like, Billy Loomis in the first film. They also have an opportunity to give us a really shocking reveal towards the end of the film, though. Make it so clearly obvious that it's her, and then kill her off right before the ghost faces are revealed to be two completely separate other people. Or maybe three, fingers crossed. But here's the weird thing about all of this, and the one reason why this theory may or may not work. Courtney Cox did just post that video where she said she's done with all of her scenes, and then we got this set photo. That's how they were released online via Courtney Cox's Instagram and also the Scream Twitter page. Now, once again, with these set photos and videos, there are two things that could have happened here. Maybe I'm just a complete idiot, and they're actually not going to be in any scenes together. Samara Weaving is just randomly wearing a dress that is quite literally the same color as Gail Weathers' pantsuit jacket thing, whatever she's wearing in the first scream. Or, hear me out here, put on your tinfoil hat for a second, maybe they had Courtney Cox post this video first so that the, they can then post that picture on the Scream Twitter account so that people wouldn't be speculating that they would be in the same scene together. Maybe this is a picture from like a couple of weeks ago. The other thing that kind of supports that theory is that if they go the Debbie Salt route, which is basically if you go back to Scream 2 and watch all of Debbie Salt scenes, they kind of just feel like punch-ins because you only ever see Debbie Salt with Gail Weathers prior to her reveal towards the end of the film. So they could be taking the same approach with Samara Weaving's character here in Scream 6, where the only time you see her on screen is with Gail Weathers. Yes, in the set photo, she is hanging out with other people behind the scenes, but she also has one of those like plastic clear masks on, so they're clearly not filming anything right now. Maybe they're just, you know, all the cast members are behind the scenes, eating some nachos, hanging out. That's what you do when you're making a film. You eat nachos with your other actor pals. And you might be thinking to yourself, Jake, maybe you're just really overthinking all of this, this is getting insane. Well, here's the other aspect of this. Radio Silence follows a lot of the people in this space on Twitter and like definitely watches some of these videos or listens to a lot of these theories. And no, they might not have like a shit ton of control over like how things get posted and all that, but I'm definitely guessing that they're influencing a lot of how this stuff is getting released because they want us to speculate the wrong thing before the movie comes out. And logically speaking, if we keep theorizing in different directions, we will never actually come down to one solid conclusion as to what this movie is going to be about. So could they be pulling off some kind of crazy scheme like this to really be throwing us off into a completely direction? Maybe this entire video, they're laughing at me right now because they're like, ha, that's actually nothing like what we're doing, Jake. Get wrecked, you big dummy. And if you don't believe me, go look at some of the marketing for Scream 5. It was super deceptive. They went and made it look like, oh yeah, Dewey's gonna be like the star of this film. It's gonna be awesome. And then guess what? <laughs> the point being there, I wouldn't be surprised if they doubled down with that on Scream 6's marketing, just because of how cool it was with the last film. But what do you think about this new set photo, this new video from Courtney Cox? I, want to, I keep wanting to say Gail Weathers, but I know that's wrong. <laughs> and also, what do you think about Radio Silence potentially manipulating the marketing for this upcoming Scream film? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this new Scream 6 update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, if you like listening to this idiot talk, go subscribe to my second channel, Movie Smoothie, where I'm currently covering Rick and Morty Season 6. I will be covering more things on that page eventually. Your boy's just really busy right now. Support me on Patreon if you can. Do all of that crap. Like this video, like I already said. And and don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.